Hello everyone, good afternoon and welcome to Government Private Job Alerts. So students, uh, here we are with our second video of exam analysis. So in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, some of the technical and uh, some of the reasoning ability questions. So as already we have discussed about the puzzle questions and uh, as I told you that puzzle questions are not uh, difficult much. I mean these are a bit easy and uh, two questions are repeated from our yesterday's video only and remaining two questions are from our previous videos that we have taken lectures to help our students and uh, that are completely free of cost so now in this video we are going to discuss uh, about your exam analysis 9th of april 10 am so before starting the video those students who are new to the channel or have not subscribed our channel so you can subscribe the channel and press bell icon so that if there is any update so you will get it earlier so for subscribing uh, there are some of uh, other benefits also students first of all if you if you are seeking for a go, uh, good job in your uh, private sector or your government sector so you are on the right platform we usually provide you off campus drives and uh, more than 109 videos we have already uploaded on our channel for the off campus drives and there are a lot of preparation videos also like the infosys exam wipro exam uh, just a second let me show you so students uh, you can see this is our uh, channel's playlist and uh, there you can see 53 videos for Infosys exam preparation and your complete exam is from these videos only because these are the previous year exam questions and after that you can see Pro also 119 videos for uh, your uh, off campus drive and uh, after that uh, your Infosys interview preparation that is the most important three videos we have uploaded for Interview preparation in which we have discussed about top 30 questions for your system engineer and operation executive and 49 videos for TCS and QT those students who are having their exam tomorrow so that this will be really helpful to all those after that your 14 questions for TCS smart hiring interview preparation so you guys can go and watch these videos so students now coming to the video so let us uh, start now so you can see uh, we are going to discuss about uh, your uh, Infosys 10th of April 10 a.m. slot reasoning ability. So you can see the uh, I mean Infosys just have started with a new pattern. I could call it new pattern because see these are something different. Mean you have to select three possible solution. Means you have answer hoga wo teen options honge. Mean multiple option selection ke aapke questions aaye. Mean uh, it is not like ki aapka sirf uh, first true hoga ya option one true hoga two true hoga three true hoga. That means you have to select three correct options so that is something different or thoda sa difficult bhi hota hai students ke liye so let us uh, now solve this question uh, this question is really easy but uh, this is a new pattern so thoda sa difficulty hoti hai questions ko solve karne mein so you can see there some lines are circles so let me take some space so you can see some lines are circles so you can mark here this is line and this is circle you can write it as cr some circles are equal that means some circles are sorry some some circles are parallel okay this is parallel some parallel are figures that means uh, this is some some parallels are figures so this is f after that some parallels are figures and after that all figures are cones that means all the figures all the figures are cones so these are cones now what you have to choose you have to select three answers that means three options so see some parallel are lines these are not or these are are some parallel are lines so you can check some parallel are lines so these are some parallel and these are lines that means this is not possible after that some circles are lines some circles circle is this some circle are lines so definitely some this this part is definitely line this part is definitely a line so second is true but this is not the only answer you have to choose three if you got first wrong so directly you can choose last three or what you can do you can uh, check one by one some parallel are cones this is not phones this is cones sorry for the mistake this is UNES cones some parallel are cones so this is parallel and this is cone that means this part is definitely true so ye bhi aapka true ho gaya. and some figures are parallel so these are some figures F and these are parallel so some figures are definitely parallel so this is the area so that means your B, C, D is correct. So that means your answer will be B, C, D. Getting? So coming to the next question. Next question is also same and there also you have to choose three possible solutions. So see some lines are circles. These are some lines. Some lines are uh, circles. And some circles are parallel. That means some circles are parallel. 
that means this is your L, this is your C, make it correct. After that, some parallel are figures. Some parallel are figures. So this is F. Getting? After that, all figures are cones. That means your all the figures are cones. See you. After that, you have to choose three answers again. So you can see there some parallel are lines. This is R, not OR. Some parallel uh, are lines. So you can see some parallel. So this is parallel. Some parallel are lines. No, this is not true. After that, some circles are lines. So some circles are lines, definitely. And uh, uh, just a second, all figures are cones. Okay, so this is the repeated question. Uh, sorry for this. So B and C, B, C, D is your correct answer for this also. Now coming to the next question. So you can see there, uh, just a second. So some questions below, some question below consists of a question and two statements uh, given. Okay, what do you have to tell? In which year was Raga born? Directly you have to give the answer, ki Raga born in which year? So you can see the first statement, Raga is twice as the age of his brother. Okay, but we cannot tell that Raga born in which year. Definitely, they are not asking the date of birth. They are only asking the date of year. For example, 2000, 2002, 1998, something. Getting? So Raga's father was born in 19... Born with him and is 25 years older than Raghav. That means from the second statement only we can get the solution. But if we choose both the statements, so first statement is not useful. Why? Only you have to find the year. So for year, you can directly subtract, uh, add 80 plus 25 directly you will get the answer. So that means only statement 2 is sufficient. So option B, 2 alone is sufficient while 1 alone is not sufficient. Coming to the next question, so the options are same. These are the options for this question also, this question also, same options. So you can choose, choose there, how is lockdown written in a certain code? So you have to tell only the lockdown uh, code mein kaise likha hai. I mean, aapka jo lockdown hai, you have to find the value of lockdown directly. Getting, so aapko kya check karna hai, yaan pe dekhna ki statement 1 and statement 2. Kaun si statement se you are getting the value of lockdown. Getting, so in the same code, lockdown is necessary, okay. So there we mean ki jo hamara lockdown is necessary hai. So lockdown means ya uh, to LAM hoga, ya PIM, ya KAM. Getting? After that and lockdown will happen is. So yaha pe thoda sa missing hai. But do not worry, yaha pe dekhi lockdown will happen. Yaha pe hai paas lockdown will happen. Or yaha pe hai lockdown is necessary. That means sari statements different hai only only lockdown. And there is also lockdown common. That means we can get the solution from the statement one only. And after that, uh, let's read the second also. In the same code, lockdown situation is means PIM and GIM. That means we can find the solution from first also and from first and two also. But in the option you can see there, so the answer will be statement one is sufficient while two is not sufficient. That means your answer will be A option. What is the answer? Only statement one is sufficient, statement two is not sufficient. After that, coming to the next question, so you can see there, this is a good question and uh, this is the question for banking. So Infosys is uh, going for uh, different, different varieties nowadays. So you can see there, M is greater, uh, less than equals to Q. So the question is, let me write it for you again. M is less than equals to Q. So this is your question. And uh, I guess uh, this is uh, visible to all of you. Q is greater than equals to N. So you can see, we have to go from Q to M getting so directly so what we will do we will catch q so q is equals to g so we have gone to g we have gone to y also because the doors are open this means the door is open if we are going from there that means the door is open you can check it and we have also uploaded many videos for these types of questions also if you wanted to watch so you guys can go and watch these videos so directly we are going to solve because this is uh, your exam analysis only so from there we can go there also we can go there also y and y is equals to m that means your statement one is true after that we have to go from q to n so where is q q is there q to g g to y we will go and y to n we can go but this sign only that means q is greater than n but the equal to sign is not sufficient mean we cannot use the equal sign because q is only greater than n not equal to that means your statement 2 is wrong that means your option 1 only one follows will be the correct answer now coming to the next question so this is also a good question you can see the following pie chart shows the percentage of students at a university who are studying in different five uh, places okay five places mean your five different states getting after that 
टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आर वन एट सिक्स ट्रिपल जीरो ओके टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आर वन एट सिक्स ट्रिपल जीरो इफ द रेशियो ऑफ बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स इज सेवन एट सिक्स ओके फाइन द डिफरेंस ऑफ नंबर ऑफ बॉयज टू गर्ल्स स्टूडेंट स्टडिंग इन द सिक्किम ओके वट यू हैव टू फाइंड यू हैव टू फाइंड सिक्किम सो दिस इज सिक्किम आई गेस दिस इज नॉट फिजिबल सो लेट अस काउंट दैन फिफ्टीन दिस इज योर फोर्टी टू दिस इज योर ट्वेल्व सो दिस इज एटीन एट एंड दिस इज थर्टी एट right this is 12 that means 40 8 and 2 40 42 and 5 47 that means uh, the total will be uh, your uh, 87 that means your sikkim will be 13% getting so sikkim is 13% there you can directly calculate if it is not visible but these are the photos so you guys can get it so 13% for sikkim now what they wanted to let us find is the number of students so you can see there total number of students are 18600 सो वन एट सिक्स ट्रिपल जीरो मीन्स हंड्रेड परसेंट मीन्स आपका जो हंड्रेड परसेंट है हंड्रेड परसेंट मीन्स योर वन एट सिक्स ट्रिपल जीरो वन एट सिक्स ट्रिपल जीरो गेटिंग सो वन परसेंट मीन्स यू कैन डायरेक्टली एलिमिनेट दीज टू जीरो सो वन परसेंट मीन्स वन एटी सिक्स एंड यू हैव टू फाइंड दी थर्टीन परसेंट फॉर सिक्किम सो थर्टीन परसेंट मीन्स वन एटी सिक्स इंटू थर्टीन सो वट यू हैव टू फाइंड हेयर यू हैव टू फाइंड the boys and girls ratio the difference so you can see this is 7 is to 6 ratio that means their difference is 1 getting and we have to uh, we have the ratio for one is your 186 so directly your answer will be 186 this is the short trick and one more thing you can do uh, let the common ratio is x so 7x plus 3 uh, 6x that is 13x and this is 13 so 13x Will be equals to your uh, 13 into 186. So 13 से 13 you will eliminate and x equals to 186. And the difference is only x. 7x minus x x is x. Directly you can get 186. So now coming to the next question. So you can see there. You have to again. This is the question. This is the statement one. This is the statement two. So you have to tell which statement you can give the answer. So you can see Raghav and his family went to a restaurant. Okay. How much did Raghav pay in the restaurant? So Raghav कितना pay करेगा? So statement one is a plate of fried rice cost rupees hundred and a plate of noodles cost rupees one fifty. Okay, that means your rice ka rate hai. Uh, rice rate is hundred. Okay, and uh, your noodles, your uh, noodles rate is one fifty. Okay. So what you have to check now the raga paid at the restaurant. So see the statement two. They ordered two plates of noodles. Okay, so two plates of noodles means three hundred rupees. Okay. One plate of uh, rice. That means uh, your rice is hundred, four hundred rupees. Okay, and one burger. But they haven't mentioned us about the rate of burger, about the price of burger. That means you cannot give the answer. So the answer will be neither one nor two is sufficient to answer the question that how much Raghav had paid to the restaurant. So option A will be your correct answer. So match your answers also. So you can see there the pie chart given below shows the distribution of a number of uh, bags sold by five sellers. Okay, these are the five sellers. The total bag sold is forty four hundred. Okay, that means this is the percentage. That means hundred percent is equals to forty four. Getting forty four hundred. So one percent is equals to forty four only. You have to tell bag sold by B is what percent more than the bag sold by A. So this is easy. We do not need this also at all because we have to just find the percentage. So in percentage we did not find. Near the values, so you can see there B is what percent more. So we have to find B what percent more. So the formula for this is those students who have watched our videos, so they do not have any problem. B minus A upon A, because we have to calculate sold by A. As and I also told you, जो last time आता है वो नीचे आता है. I always told to the students into hundred. So directly you can solve. B is twenty minus five five upon uh, your A is fifteen. So one upon three. Directly you can calculate one upon three means your thirty three point three three percent. Directly your option C will be the correct answer. So students, uh, this is uh, all about uh, this video. So we have uh, covered uh, almost all the questions which we got from the students of uh, today's ten a.m. slot. So now we will be doing your uh, technical ability questions also. So subscribe the channel and press bell icon so that you would get it uh, earlier our notifications also. And now after this. we will be covering about the 3 pm slot also exam analysis so subscribe the channel and uh, you can also join us in the telegram groups also so all the best students and uh, i wish you all have done these question correctly and uh, i hope 
you all will be selected so all the best students and god bless you all